it for the prank. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vlog. I ain't gonna do it. Oh, yeah. What is up, G family? It's your girl, Tiana G. And we got Jeremy G on the camera over here. What we finna do today is prank call. We're gonna start with my sister, but I think she gonna know my voice, but. Say hey to Sandbox, y'all. He mad, cause I put him in the cage. We just typed all this up, so. If she don't know it's me, she ain't mine. Do you want me to do it? No, she gonna know your voice. You want to? We gonna do this to test run on her sister. Yeah, she Because she know us. She know us, and she know both of our voices, so. <laughs> Hello, man, I speak with Taj. Hello, man, I speak with Taj. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I was going to speak with Taj. This is Jeremy. Oh, oh slam! Good night! Good night! <laughs> Hello, this is Brian with Recarnation Services. I just wanted to give, give you a call. <laughs> Hi, I was calling to speak with Taj. My name is Tori with FEMA Reincarnation Services. I seen your resume online and wanted to speak with you about a position. Please call me back at this number at your earliest convenience. Thank you. At any time. Oh, she called. Hello? Who is it? Hello? Hello, my name is Josh. I'm with Reincarnation Services. I was looking for Taj. Is this her? No, she has the wrong number. Okay. Thank you. Say hey. Hi, may I speak with Isaiah? Yeah. Hi, my name is Tori. I'm calling with FEMA Reincarnation Services. I recently seen your resume online, and we thought you'd be a good fit for our new supervisor position. Is now a good time to discuss this opportunity? What? Hey, Hunter! You don't hang up on job opportunity. He broke ass. This guy, y'all. May I speak with Brian? Hey, my name is Tori. I'm with FEMA Reincarnation Services. Um, I recently seen your resume online, and we thought you'd be a good fit for our new supervisor position. Is now a good time to discuss this opportunity? Uh, no, I'm actually not looking for a job at the moment. Oh, okay. Well, just give me a call whenever you are. All right, thank you. You know your ass need that job. I'm no, playing. He, he in school. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. He he in school. Dedication. Um, who else? Oh. What you say? Call Elijah. Like just that. No, I'm not gonna get her up some. No. Yeah, she gonna be like, I, she gonna get on Facebook like, I'm five jobs shorty. <laughs> <laughs> she got enough job. We probably can get Elijah, not Jay. Jay gonna know your boy. Yeah. Hey, they I see mad. that you have some military experience. That's a plus in our book. It <laughs> <laughs> will do, bro. Let me see. I'm it's scared, blind. Jeremy. He ain't gonna know your voice at all. <laughs> Hello. Hello. May I speak with Elijah? Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Tori. I work with FEMA Reincarnation Services. Um, I recently just seen your resume online, and we thought you'd be a good fit for our new supervisor position. Is now a good time to speak about this opportunity? Um, I never even talked to my resume online. Um, I seen it on Indeed. I see that you have military experience. Mm, yes. Um, I don't have a, I don't, I've never posted my resume on Indeed. Oh, well, yeah, I did see it on there. Are you looking for a work right now? No, I'm actually still in the middle of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on, my nigga, then. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. He wouldn't put the s*** <laughs> in there. We could have got. He just waking up. Why? Hi, 
Hi, my name is Tori with Female Reincarnation Services. Is now a good time to talk about this opportunity? Yeah, we can talk. I was just just waking up, but I'm woken up. We want to inform you that this is a recorded line, and I would like to extend an offer for you to become a supervisor with our company. Does that sound like something you'll be interested in? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. So let me tell you a little bit about our company. Okay. Okay, so we are based out of Texas. In this position, you'll be supervising all corpses and organs that come into our facility due to the hurricane. We do take care of your travel and room expenses for your interview if offered the position for training. If you're not a good fit, we would send you down our conveyor belt. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. <gasps> what are you doing? I don't know. Why you do that? <laughs> Call my granddad. Call my grandma. <laughs> No, I'm not doing that to them. I know that you're over age, but <laughs> we got still work. Use we got <laughs> Hello. Hi, may I speak to Joseph? This is Hi, my name is Tori. I'm calling with FEMA Reincarnation Services. I recently seen your resume online and thought you'd be a good fit for our new supervisor position. Is now a good time to discuss this opportunity? No, this is a good time. Great. I do want to inform you that this is recorded line, and, and I would like to extend an offer with you for a supervisor position with our company. It's FEMA Reincarnation Services. But let me tell you a little bit about our company and when we can get you interviewed. We are a company based out of Texas. The good thing about this position, you'll be placed at one of our new facilities. We just signed a big contract with Walmart for all their closed stores, and we're super proud about this accomplishment. Due to the hurricane, we have a high value of this product coming in. We do take care of all your travel expenses in room for your interview. If you're offered the position, if we see that you're not a good fit, we would send you down our conveyor belt for an early cremation. How does this sound to you? It sounds good. I, I do have a lot going on right now. I'm trying to understand everything that you said. Um, they said it's a supervisor position and I applied to which company? Again, I'm so sorry. Yes, yeah, so FEMA, it's for the government. It's a government position. I just don't remember applying. Does this sound like a position you'll be interested in? Yes, I want to take down some information. Oh, that is so sad. I feel bad. Uh, what should I say? What should I say? Reincarnation. FEMA. It's FEMA Reincarnation Services. This is wrong, Jeremy. I'm going to call it back. Okay, you said. What should I do? I don't know what to do. See, tell me, you said how many email with all the information. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to send you an email with all the information. Um, I'll get you um, some interview slots, and you can pick from one of those, and the address and more about our company. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds really good. Okay, and can I get your email, by the way? Your personal email? Yes, sir. Yes, it's going to be Joseph, J-O-S-E-T-H. Sounds good. I'll send you that email right away. All right, then it's going to have um, all the information on it? Yes, and I'll have some different times of all the interviews we have, because I know it's a, it's a traveling job, so you have to travel out of the state if you're not located in Texas. Um, so we do give you some options to choose from. Okay. Um, definitely would like to look into this. Um, thank you. Is there anything else that I need to know? Um, no, that's all. And I also um, put some more of my contact information um, just for when you do decide a time. Just give me a call back. All right, I will. Okay, you have a good night. I'll send that right away. Um, I ain't <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad. Hey, what's so funny is that the point that people do not listen, they be so stuck on a job position, they ain't listening to nothing at the end. She read read the end part. I said, it. I basically said in this position, you'll be supervising all corpses and organs that come into our facility. And us seeing that you're not a good fit, we would send you down our conveyor belt for your early cremation. <laughs> Does it sound like so? He was like, yeah, definitely. <laughs> people, people was up here agreeing to that cremation. This 
so long. He sound really excited. Jeremy made me do it. Oh. Not a good cover. We should go over. Oh, no. Yes. I Come on. Okay. Like, I'm a this is for the vlog. This is for y'all. <laughs> yeah, call your uncle next. Hi, may I speak with Joseph? Speaking. Hi, my name is Tori with FEMA Reincarnation Services. I recently seen your yeah. resume online and thought you'd be a good fit for our supervisor position. Is now a good time to discuss this opportunity? It's, it's always a good time to make some money. Hold on, let me call my dad and hang up the phone from his birthday. Let me tell my phone right back. Okay. Hello? Okay. Hold on, one second. One That's second. wrong. I don't hang up with your granddad. Stop, That's wrong. I'd like to extend an offer for you to become a supervisor with our company. Does that sound like a position you'll be interested in? What's the name of your company? Um, it's FEMA Reincarnation Services. So I can tell you a bit about our company and about our interviewing process. Okay, so basically, we're um, an agency based out of Texas. In this position, you'll be supervising all corpses and organs that come into the facility due to the hurricane. We have a high volume of product coming in. We do take care of your travel if you need to travel outside of the state, the room and board for the interview process and the training. And upon your arrival, or if you're seen as not a good fit, we will send you down a conveyor belt built for your early cremation. <laughs> Does that sound like something you'll be interested in? You said I'd be going down to the Who is this? Jeremy, you wrong. Hello? No. <laughs> no. Don't say your face. Don't say Older people listen. The new fuck going to be listening. Oh, I feel bad. That's wrong. <laughs> Is this Julius? Yeah. Yeah, so my name is Tori. I was calling with FEMA Reincarnation Services. We will send you down a conveyor belt for your early cremation. Does that sound like something you'll be interested in? Not right now. Okay. Um, well, I do appreciate your time. And if you are interested later on, just give us a call. Okay, thank you. Thank you. My uncle, I didn't want to record it. He like, I still stuck on it. He like, what the hell? He's funny as that. Is the way to go. What the hell is this? I feel bad, bro, because your, your cousin is really interesting, bro. Oh, Hello, man. I speak with Randall. Yeah, yeah. Hello, my name is Josh with Female Reincarnation Services. What's your name? My name is Josh. Okay, what's going on? Uh, I'd like to extend the offer for you to become a new supervisor with our company. Do this sound like a okay. position you'd be interested in? Yes, sir. What kind of, what kind of company is it? My early cremation? <laughs> yes, sir. You've been my early cremation? Yes, sir. Do this sound like a good fit for you? Yeah, it's me. I'm fine So I'm gonna go ahead and send you an email full of details for our company. No, I don't want to answer. Uh-uh. You'll see it, Pookie. Watch boy. You'll see it. Wait. Your name ain't no damn Michael. <laughs> So are you interested in the position? Yeah, you gotta go. Where the interview at? The interview is in Texas. What's classified information right now, sir? All right now. Joke you playing? He said, "What kind of joke you playing?" 
Tatiana. <laughs> oh, she probably gonna know it's me though. Oh, she don't know your voice like No, because remember we called. Let's do this. I'm calling with FEMA Reincarnation Services. I recently seen your resume online, and I thought you'd be a good fit for our new supervisor position. Is now a good time to talk about this opportunity? Yo, I want to know my voice. I told you she was going to know my voice from the last so time. So we up here pranking the vlog. But I didn't think that you was going to remember her voice. I was like, no. Nah. It's for y'all. Y'all got us calling people who may not talk to us again. Like, y'all got me a new job. All right. You don't have to call your cousin, but. Oh, you don't call him? No, he's just looking, looking for that email coming. <laughs> well, I think that's just the end of us, boo. Yeah. So.